Hey guys, what's up? So next poem I'll be reading is 1,272, and this is called Excuse Me, But I'm Checking Out. Living vicariously through a story because the reality is not what you want, or dodging someone's calls, or ignoring what they say, running to that tropical island sounds nice to preoccupy what's really happening, may sound all peachy in that moment. But when the high runs out, you'll see that the worst thing you could have done, because it was a mirage, and none of it was real. Excuse me, but I'm checking out. Today, I don't want to feel like a robot, so I'm skipping my pill. I hope I made the right choice. The day hasn't even started and my mother is already nagging. Nope, I don't have any patience. I don't even want to read the text, so I shut my phone off. I'm tired of holding up the pieces, bombarding me with your expectations, and I don't want to deal with any of this. I'm going back to bed. Yes, hiding under the covers. Excuse me, but I'm not in. I'm checking out, too busy in my own head to deal with your complaints. Isn't it sad, maybe even pathetic, that I have to write a story of what if because the reality is too hard to handle? Tears are strolling down my eyes, and I'm overwhelmed. I'm trying to reach the surface, but I'm afraid I won't have enough time to catch my breath. I'm tired of holding up the mask, bombarding me with your expectations, and I don't want to deal with any of this. I'm going back to bed. Yes, hiding under the covers. The boogeyman can't get me. Excuse me, but I'm not in. I'm checking out, too busy in my own head to deal with all this reality. The feedback is always negative. They're nitpicking at my body. I never said that I was a model. Now it's my words. I don't get what he's trying to say. He's not even good at what he does. Then what is he good for? I'm tired of all this rawness, bombarding me with your list of need and wants, and I don't want to deal with any of this baggage. I'm going back to bed. Yes, hiding under the covers. This is my security blanket. Excuse me, but I'm not in. I'm checking out, too busy in my own head to deal with life. I'm running faster and faster. I'm stripping off my clothes, diving perfectly into the beach, naked, and I'm laughing, feeling a high I've never felt before, liberated, twirling around while the fish surround me on a tropical island. I really have no idea how I got here, and I really don't care. I'll take another frozen margarita, please, Jose, while he bends over in his speedo. Everything here is perfect, but when I open my eyes, I realize... I'm standing on the edge of a building with tears in my eyes. I take a deep breath and take a step back, realizing what I was going to do. The problem with checking out, escaping reality, is that the fantasy in your head of how you want it to be is not real, and that it actually becomes a nightmare. Sometimes it's easier to just face it. Yeah, it's less painful.